Writing in the Mail Online this week, columnist Peter Hitchens says that the so-called sabotage of grammar schools during the 1960s made Britain less equal and caused grammar schools the true pioneers of levelling up. A ban on the opening of new grammar schools has been in place since 1998, but their sabotage began in the 1960s when Labour politician Anthony Crossland was in education and in DfE. He reportedly was hell-bent on destroying every grammar school in the country. So were they the true pioneers of levelling up and should we bring them back? Joining me now to discuss this is Peter Hitchens himself. Peter, thank you for joining us. Can you just first of all begin by outlining why you think grammar schools are the true pioneers of levelling up? Well, it's very simple. What they did was they allowed uh, children from poor homes to obtain the best education possible. Uh, They didn't do this as widely as they could have done. They needed all kinds of help, which they didn't get at the time, but they were already having an enormous effect uh, in the 20 brief years when they existed in this country in bringing many, many people into into professions and uh, and into educated areas of life who were previously been excluded from them because there were no routes by which they could rise to the top and fully use their talents. And the nation also lost their talents because they struggled and drowned in, uh, in schools where they could not succeed. And then after that 20 years over and the comprehensive experiment began, they were left to drown again. And so we now lose an enormous amount of talent. And at the same time, there are thousands of individual tragedies of boys and girls who cannot get the education. Their talents would actually, would actually suggest they, they deserve and need. If you're going to choose, all good schools are selective in one way or another. If you're going to choose who goes to the good schools, it seems to me that it's far better to choose them on the basis of ability than the way we use now, which is the basis of parental wealth. Uh, it's National Offer Day each March. Uh, every child in the country who's going to a state school has his or her future decided arbitrarily and forever on the basis of their parents' postcode. Uh, and this is bizarrely what the supposedly uh, supposedly socially concerned left wing uh, of this country actually supports selection by wealth for the better schools. I think it would be far better if we re- returned. I don't think it's likely, I have to say, but it would also be far better if we returned to the much more f- fair and rational system of selecting children for the best schools on the basis of their ability to benefit from them. 